PlayStation 5 is officially coming. We've seen the box. But now we have two versions well, we, of the price. We've seen the box, all right. We've seen the box. We've seen whatever it is. It's like it's the contraption. Alien thing. That's what we're going to talk about today at the pause menu. I'm Corey. This is Chris. Hi. PlayStation 5, we know everything about it yeah. except the price. I mean, not everything, but except the price. And that's the yep. big one. The price, as with every console launch, is extremely important. And that's what we're going to do. We've, we've, we've talked about price before, but this is it. This is the final prediction. PlayStation 5. We've got the regular edition. We've got the digital edition. How much is it going to cost? Okay, so I have confidence in Sony. Now, when I say that, they will definitely not make the same mistake they did before. Now, even though in another video I did say this, uh, I believe it's going to be $100 cheaper from my Xbox. Uh, yeah, what Series I said X. for the Xbox and whatnot. So when I say that, PlayStation 5 with the disc option will be the $499 and then $100 cheaper with the disc list. At the three ninety nine mark, on a hundred dollars, huh? I like there's it, it's not going to be a fifty dollar difference. Like I can't think how much more cheaper it would become. I mean, they're both powerful consoles. They boof, they boof. They both do the same thing. The only difference is that just one has a disc and one does not. But who knows how much power it takes with a disc compared to discless? Like, is yeah, it that yeah, much of a change? I, no. Um, the so I'll I say that. I think Sony's going to come in a little bit higher than the Series X. And the reason okay. I say that is because that box is huge. Um, that box yeah. is huge for the reason that it, it needs beefy cooling. They're doing a lot of interesting things with that device. Um, but they've also been very clear about that what they're going to... Jim Ryan has been very, very... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, he's been very particular with his words of saying, it's going to be a great value for what it is. But he, he's very good at not saying it's going to be cheap. It's going to be like seven hundred dollars. Um, so I'm going to go five forty nine for the disc version and four ninety nine for the digital version. I don't think that they need to take a hundred dollars off of the di of of the digital version. Um, if this was the PlayStation Four and it came this way, I would one hundred percent agree that you've got to give people a really big incentive. Yeah. To to not so. The discless version removes so many things. Um, you know, backwards compatibility yeah. is a heck of a lot harder. Yeah. As well, but they're also able to save more money because it, licensing a Blu-ray player costs money, and that's I don't want to get into licensing and stuff. But the fact that it does not have a Blu-ray player means that they're also going to save on licensing. So they're not they are going to take a loss on the, the, the on the PlayStation Five. I do not doubt that. But I think what they're going to use is, is the digital edition to try to mitigate that loss. Mm -hmm. I don't think that they're putting the digital version out there to make to try to get more people in the ecosystem the way Microsoft is with the Series S. Sure. I think they are simply just trying to say, hey, if you, we'll give you fifty bucks off if you're willing to come into our ecosystem and be digital only, because they no longer have to worry about used games. They, lo they no longer have to worry about uh, the cuts that retailers take, etc. So they make more money from that. But I think they're going to try to use that to mitigate the price of the system overall versus enticing people to come in. And this so. is like this is this is a new thing here. Like we've never had a disc and discless version right out the gate. Right. You know. So, I mean, if anything, the most it can be, I feel like, would be a hundred dollars. That's for sure. I don't think it'd be any cheaper because if you compare them left to right, like they're the same console. It's just that that is the big feature. Uh, so I do see where you're coming with 50, but like I feel like that is just not enough significance for them, though. You know, let's go to some place and be like, all right, here's two PS5s. You know, this one is just 50 dollars cheaper because it does not have a disc tray. You know, I don't know. Like that, that doesn't sound right to me. I I can see it from both sides, but at the same time, digital's taken over. Like even people that yeah, that, I, I agree. that have discs in their boxes now. Yeah. I don't, when, was the, when was the last disc I bought? <laughs> like, I genuinely do not remember. I'm, I'm oh, a traditionalist. I, I, I bought agree. Forza Seven because it was ten dollars on Amazon. Um, so, and uh, you know, my PS4 experience has just been digital. To be honest with mm -hmm. you, it really has. And so, I think again, I'm gonna go back and say, like, if if it was a PlayStation Four time, I think that yeah, I, I think a hundred dollars you would have to entice people, but I don't think you have to anymore. I think fifty bucks is enough to entice people to be like, yeah, I'll save fifty bucks and pick up an extra game and. and I don't. I don't use discs anyway. Like, and that's see, and that's just that's such a new age thing, though. You know, it's just crazy to think. It's just like, okay, then why have a disc version? Well, other than I guess to watch movies, you know, mm -hmm. you gotta you got to put that into like because it's just a game. Well, no, because you just download the movies. Like, why have a disc version? These right, days? and that's that's kind of the interesting thing is I honestly think the digital edition is gonna sell more 
Um, I, I can see that. I know a I lot. Really of, can. A lot of people, you know, and people put polls on Twitter and stuff and say that. Oh no, people are buying the disc version easily. I'm like, I don't. I think the hardcore people will. Um, I probably will simply because I'm one of the few people that still watch 4K movies. So on a disc, and yeah. I also want that ability just in case to have a disc drive because I don't buy everything day one. So sometimes there's sales and stuff like that that I want to take advantage of, and not having that disc drive to me. It's worth fifty dollars now. What I will say is, and this isn't quite the point of the video, but if it's a hundred dollars cheaper, I'm going digital. I, I agree. I, I think no. that's, a, that's a big enough I mean, reason to seriously. Yeah. If there's no big difference, I mean, I already have. I mean, I don't have a 4K player, but I, like I have my Blu-ray. You know, I already have that machine to do just that. You know, like I, there's no reason. Like again, my PS4 experience has just been digital anyway. You know, I just download the games there and just play them. And if there's no difference in power and mechs and, you know, just how the machine works, like, yeah, I yeah. I can definitely see that. The big thing, though, going back to the price, I just cannot see either consoles ending with a 50, you know. 449? Yeah. yeah. Like, or 549? To me, like, I just see a round number. Like, I wanted to say but, that, right. but it's just... But I, I feel like the way you get around that is you don't advertise that one. You start, yeah. you know, the advertisements are going to say... PlayStation Five starting at four ninety nine. They're okay. not going to say, you know, they're they're going to put their the cheapest one forward first. They're going to say yeah. starting at four ninety nine. Yeah. You know, so marketing. Yeah, yeah, and that's in store. You're you're one hundred percent right though. Like five forty nine sounds weird, but the fact that they've got that four forty nine or four ninety nine version, I think, would be. But that's if it's fifty dollars. But again. Um, Yes, you know, they're trying to give us the value. So there's, you know, they're comparing the value of what's inside this machine here. So where my prices come, uh, again, I personally feel like, and I think it's true, that it's it's not going to be stronger than, like, the Xbox S series, right? Mm -hmm. For series sure. S. I mean, like, technology-wise and whatnot. So I feel like... You mean the X? The X, yeah. yes. No, I'm yeah. going to confuse these yeah, two. Yeah. It's the, horrible. The Series X is the more powerful console. That's, yes. That's, I know people want to debate that it's not. It's not debatable. <laughs> the Series X is more powerful than than the PlayStation and, Five, but the Series S is significantly weaker than the PlayStation. And the big 5. reason I say that is just because you know they tried the five ninety nine mark before, and I feel like they're a you know they're a company who definitely learned from that. I mean, right. trust me, I think yes, that is expensive, but where technology is these days, I I do think that could be an option. Uh, but with that experience alone and how they sold the PS4 right out the door compared to the Xbox One, I mean, they saw how that took off. And I felt like they would, if they yeah. had the opportunity, they'll do that again. That's a good point. I mean, that was a huge factor for Seriously. the PlayStation 4. The I mean, Xbox One had a hard launch. <laughs> hard is not worthy of it. The But that price was extremely important. But yeah. again, we talked about this before. You know, yeah. The Kinect was the thing. Yeah. You know? Like, if it didn't Motion have the Kinect, those machines would have been very similar. And... But I, I also wonder if it was just four ninety nine with, and it didn't have a connect. If it just ended up being a hundred dollars more, was it was connect the problem yeah. or was the price the problem? It's both. But which yeah. one was the bigger factor? Sure. Um, but that's different video for different yeah. time. Um, but no. So, yeah. I mean, very good point that the PlayStation Four was priced to compete, and but at the same time, they also didn't have like. Some people want to debate that the PlayStation Four was originally going to be more. I don't buy that. I think they always had a three ninety nine price sure. in mind, and I think that they were ready to go to three forty nine if they had to, but they didn't have to with that. So, but it's a different if it, it's a different time now. We're they're coming off the PlayStation Four, which is one of the most successful consoles ever, whereas with the play they were coming off the PlayStation Three before with the PlayStation Four. So they they sort of had to they had to do everything right. Whereas now they've got a little bit more yeah. wiggle room where their fans are going to say, look, if it's four ninety nine, if it's five ninety nine. I know what I'm getting now. See, like, I'm a PlayStation person. I'm okay with it. This is but. just, it's so crazy to believe right now. Like, I mean, we're, we're releasing with our both base consoles, but both companies are doing two separate routes here. Yeah, they're very you know? different. Yeah, very like, different strategies. It's so, like, I'm so interested to see how this is going to work. Yeah. It's so cool. But it, I find it interesting that neither one want to announce the price. <laughs> like, neither one yeah. is, is flinching What's on up the price. With that? Like, are they waiting for each other? Like, uh, yeah, is, oh, they definitely I are. mean, yeah. like, they who, definitely who's, who's gonna let loose? Microsoft's gonna go first. I think I think Sony's one hundred percent. They will they will hold on to that price to November if they have to. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I, I think they're waiting exactly to see what this they have to do. Crazy. Um, but see, but Series S is the key because there is no way they're gonna be able to match the Series S price. So there's it's just not gonna happen. So 
It'll be interesting. But let us know what you think in the comments below, how much you think the PS5 is going to be. Yeah. Uh, Xbox as well. We have a video on that. You can check that out. So let us know. Um, if you think a 599 console is possible, I'd be interested to see if people, that's kind of the, as people that are, that pay attention, um, a 599 console, it, it's a meme, right? Like 599 US dollars. That was a meme for a very long time. So I'm, I'm interested to see if people even, if that's a factor for them kind of thing. So let us know in the comments, hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out and we will see you next time.